I have an extra special guest with me this morning. He comes from the Key West Aquarium. The Key West Aquarium is one of the top Florida attractions. It was opened in 1935, and at the time it was Key West's only tourist attraction. It was also the first open-air aquarium in North America. Brian, it is a pleasure having you and guests here with me oh, this it's, morning. It's, it's Thank our you. pleasure. It's our <laughs> pleasure. Thanks for having us. I can't believe I'm holding <laughs> one right now and I'm staying calm. But the mouths are closed or taped. That's so, correct. Yep. So I'm safe, You're right? totally safe. You're totally safe. <laughs> now, these alligators, we can find them at the aquarium along with so many others. That's Tell a, that's me about a, everything you have, Brian. Uh, we have a wide array of, of species at the aquarium, a huge variety of coral species that we have growing in the tanks. We have a number of different species of sharks, sea turtles. In fact, all the sea turtles we have are ones that are injured and can't survive out on their own. Uh, we have a number of different game fish from tarpon, a barracuda, a goliath groupers. Mm -hmm. uh, we even have uh, a 11 foot Burmese python, uh, iguana, hawk, all kinds of numbers, a number of land turtles as well as tortoises. Okay. So a hu huge variety of species A huge on. variety. I'm glad you brought these though. These are <laughs> yeah, easy <laughs> these to handle. sound better than some of the other ones. Tell me a little bit about the aquarium. I know it's not just for tourists. Locals can come there and enjoy it as well, can't they? Definitely, definitely. You know, we get a huge uh, array of not just the tourists coming in, but the locals that come see us. Uh, when the family comes to town, it's going to get a real good chance to show them uh, what's in our ecosystem. M most everything we have are things you find in and around our local waters here. So it's a great opportunity to get that close-up view of, of the different species you see when you're out snorkeling or kayaking or paddleboarding or whatever you're doing in and around the water here. Okay, so a visit to the aquarium, it sounds like, it will give you a better understanding of just everything we have here in the Keys, right in the water. Exactly, exactly. You know, we really strive to, to educate people about our ecosystem. It's a, it's a very unique ecosystem down here in the Florida Keys. And, you know, our aquarium, it's a, it's a, it's a small, intimate aquarium. You know, don't think SeaWorld or any big giant facility, mm -hmm. but that's, that's the beauty of it because it gives us a chance to let people get really close to, to the different animals and learn about the ecosystem we have here. Now tell me a little bit about what you do at the aquarium. Uh, my job title is the senior aquarist. So essentially my job is the water quality, uh, the food, uh, the, the, the diet of the animals, the health of the animals, keeping everything alive and running and going strong, hopping in the tanks, <laughs> cleaning them, cutting mm -hmm. up bait, you name it. Wow. <laughs> Do you ever get scared on certain days with animals? No, <laughs> no, I'm That's most comfortable silly with question, them. That's a question, right? You're brave, you're <laughs> courageous. Uh, how long have you been at the aquarium, Port Brian? I originally started at the aquarium in 2001. Mm -hmm. I've moved away a couple times out of, out of state and uh, moved back and uh, very lucky to be able to come back to the aquarium. Okay, now do you have a favorite exhibit or species or anything there? You know, it's, it's tough to have a favorite, but I'd have to say the, the Atlantic Shores exhibit is one of my favorite. We have such a big variety of game fish swimming around there. Everything from Goliath grouper, moray eels, hawksbill sea turtles, living mangroves growing right in the exhibit. It's a really, really a, uh, amazing exhibit to see. Now you've been there for a while, as you mentioned. So what is the response that you hear from people after they make a visit to the aquarium? You know, most, most people are very excited how close they can get to the animals we have there at the aquarium. On, on our tours, uh, we bring a nurse shark out, let everybody pet the shark on the tail. Uh, like I said, you get real close to the animals and people feel like they can actually connect with the people that work there. They can talk to them and really understand. Uh, the animals and the, and the ecosystems that we have here. Wonderful. Can they hold the alligators? Yep, yep. We bring, we bring the alligators out on occasion. Uh, uh -huh. We bring a number of different animals out. We're really, uh -huh. trying, we're really trying to expand our, our outreach and, and trying to give the people uh, a good experience and, like I said, the opportunities to be close to the different kind of animals. Right. It's very cool. And now the taping of the mouth, does this hurt the animals or anything nope, at all? No, this does not hurt them at all. Uh, alligators have very strong jaws as far as closing their mouth. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, the larger ones can bite down with about 2,000 pounds uh, worth of pressure. But when it comes to opening their mouth, they have very, very weak muscles for opening their mouth. So this just kind of ensures uh, that their mouth stays closed, no one's going to get hurt, their nostrils are up in the front, of the, uh, right at the end there, mm -hmm. can, and so yeah. they're not harmed in any, any way from it. Now who has to do the taping? Uh, w one, of, one of the employees. I taped these guys before I came in today. So when you take the tape off though, do they get angry or anything? Uh, no, not, necess no, not okay. really. They, they stay pretty calm. So but you have to reapply it every day? Yeah, well every time we take them out. When they're okay. in their enclosure, they don't have the, the tape on. Okay, but anytime you take them out, you have to put it because if you didn't... 
Yeah, we want to make sure everyone stays safe. We want to make sure everybody stays safe. <laughs> okay, wonderful. And now tell us about the hours of the aquarium. Uh, the aquarium, we're open uh, right now during the wintertime. We're open every day from 9 o'clock to 8 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have tours every day at 11, 1, 3, and 4.30. And we also have uh, an opportunity for people to feed our juvenile stingrays at 12 o'clock and 2 o'clock every day. Oh, we, really? Yeah, we have a stingray petting pool out back. Uh -huh. And at 12 and 2, we let people shrimp, take shrimp and hand feed our and feed our stingrays. Is that all that they eat, shrimp? Uh, that's, that's what we give them for the, for the feedings. Mm -hmm. there. They get a, a big mix of food. Wonderful. <laughs> and then one question before we go to, what do the gators eat? The gators, these guys eat a combination of uh, small frozen mice as well as a, a gator chow. It's basically a pelleted uh, formula uh -huh. specifically made for, for alligators. That sounds very appetizing, huh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, Brian, thanks so much for being on. And I have to admit, I wasn't scared about holding this. I'm Excellent. happy. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back after this. Stay with us.